Hello, my name is Sarah Larkin, and this video is going to discuss using the rule of 49 and the rule of 99 when doing addition on the Cranmer Abacus using the counting method. Um, as we do these problems, we're going to look first at what happens with the rule of 49 when we're moving from 49 to 50. So let's look at the abacus here. All right, we're going to go ahead and set 49, which would be four tens and all nine ones. Now let's think about what happens when I go to add 1 to 49. Well, 1 past 49 is 50, so think about what's going to have to happen. That left index finger is going to have to go up to the 5 bead. All of it moves down in the tens column while I clear out the ones, and then I can continue counting to 51, 52, etc. So we want to make sure in this case that as I'm moving from 49 to 50, I'm bringing that 5 bead down along with the 4 below it, and I'm clearing the ones while I keep counting. So let's try some problems using this particular rule. The first one we're going to use is 38 plus 14. So we're going to set three tens and eight ones on the abacus. Now to add 14, remember I can add one ten and then four ones, or four ones and then one ten. Uh, in this case, to make the rule of 49 occur, we're going to do the tens first. So I'm going to go ahead and add the one ten. Now, that was just straightforward. There was one bead that I could move up. Now my right index finger is in the ones column, left index finger in the tens as I add four ones. So I'm going to go one up. Now at this place, the next time or the next bead I can move to add one is going to be up at that five bead. So with my left index finger, I say two as I move all of them down clear the ones with my right index finger and continue counting. Three up, four up. My answer is 52. Let's try a three digit plus a two digit here. I'm going to go ahead and do the last problem in the first row, 261 plus 263. So we're going to set two hundreds, six tens, and one one. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my hundreds first. Well, I can go ahead and add two hundreds. That's easy enough. Now go ahead in the tens column. I need to add six. And this is where the rule is going to occur. One up, two up, three up. Now the next place I can add is that five beat in the hundreds column. So Four down as I clear all of them. Remove all of them down. Clear the nine and the tens column and continue counting. Five up, six up. Now in the ones column, I can go ahead and add three. And my answer is 524. Okay, let's go ahead and look at a four-digit problem. Let's do 2,918 plus 2,530. I'll go ahead and clear the abacus completely. I'm going to set up two thousands, nine hundreds, one ten, and eight ones. Now I'm going to start with the thousands. I'll go ahead and move two thousands up. Easy enough. Now in the hundreds, I need to add five hundreds. Notice the next place I can add, I have to help out with that left index finger at the five bead. Move them all down. That's one. As I clear the hundreds and continue counting in the hundreds. Two up, three up, four up, five up. Now I need to add three tens, and I can certainly do that easy enough. And I don't have to add any ones. My answer then that I read is 5,448. 
Now, if I want to use the rule of 99 or times when the rule of 99 would happen, think about what happens when I have all 99 beads and now I need to add one. At this point, my right index finger is in the ones column, my left index finger is in the tens column. To add one to 99, I would end up with 100. So that means I would actually have to move into that hundreds column to add one. With the left index finger, I would also clear the nine in the tens column, but that right index finger should never move away from the hundreds or from the ones column or the column I'm adding in as I clear those nines and continue counting because after a hundred, it's gonna be 101, 102. So we always, that right index finger should stay in that location until I'm done with that particular place value. So let's look at some rule of 99 problems. We'll start with the first problem on the page, 287 plus 116. I'm going to go ahead and set two hundreds, eight ones, or eight tens, excuse me, and seven ones. Now we're going to go ahead and add 116. Well, I can go ahead and add 100. I can go ahead and add 110. And now I'm going to add the six ones. And my finger placement should be my right index finger in the ones, my left index fingers in the tens. So let's go ahead and move one up, two up. Oh, there's none in that column to add, none in the next column to add. So I have to go over to the hundreds and say three. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear the tens column and clear the ones column as I continue counting four, five, six. My answer is 403. All right, let's look at one more of those. Uh, let's go ahead and do a two digit one this time. 68 plus 34. I'll move this up on the screen a little better. Go ahead and clear the abacus. Set my six tens and eight ones. Now we're going to go ahead and add our three tens. And then our right index finger in the ones column, our left index finger in the tens column. I'm going to add four. One up. Where's the next place I can add? That's in the hundreds column with my left index finger. I say two as I clear the tens with my left hand and clear the ones with my right hand. Continue counting with the right hand. Three up, four up for an answer of 102. Now you're not going to have that rule of 99 that's going to happen as often where they're going to have to go clear over but it does on occasion. Our next videos will start looking at subtraction.